first win since October the 28th, breaking that 28-game losing streak that matched the longest in NBA history, spanning two seasons, but it set the record for the most consecutive losses in one season, and they were just one loss shy of the record for the four major American and Canadian sports leagues, which was set by the Chicago Cardinals of the National Football League during World War II. Right back at it at the ankle spray, that's a good sign. And he'll take the first shot, and he makes it. How good is it to be young, man? So the Rockets with a 5-4 lead here in the middle of this second seven-game homestand of the season. There you go, Jalen Green now 12 threes and counting in the last two plus. Unfortunately, you, you let off a nice yeehaw on that yeah, there, right? Yeah. Over two for Tate. Cunningham, the kick, the quarter three, and the make there for Ivy. He's looking to make those extra passes. Already four points, making two points and three dimes for Shindun. Rockets with a run out. Jay Sean Tate all the way to the basket. He thought about throwing it down and just ended up laying it out. Monty Williams has had enough. Last year with the Pistons with his career at almost 22 a game. Strong just kind of get back to the flow. Here's Van Fleet up top. And Van Fleet, who it had been struggling, Going into that last game against the Sixers, busted out itself. Bogdanovich gets it right back quickly for Detroit. In these ball games, they've been in a lot of games that they played. That's eight straight for Detroit. Easton. Got his own miss. It was a freshly <laughs> passed it to himself. Yeah, he definitely got caught in between and threw that to himself. And so he has such control of those of, of those rebounds or loose balls. Cunningham eye off the glass. Meanwhile, Asar said, look, during the game, it's gonna be all business, but it is surreal and really special, guys. And Asar has checked in, was initially checking his brother, then he got switched up, and then Amen Thompson went right to the rim for the hoop and harm. Asar Thompson thought about the drive, resents it to Cunningham, stolen away by Easton and he will glide to the rim for the slam. That never gets old, man. Every single <laughs> game, at least one time. Live with it, and I understand you wanting the defense. That is his impact. The steals. That shot. That original Bullock Jr. did some burn here in the first half. Ball fake, green baseline. Oh, oh my goodness. Did anybody see that coming? See the lift there, James Wiseman. Off Burks to Wiseman for the flush. Second overall pick by the Warriors. Tari, that was easy. Second unit playing Rockets basketball, just really doing a great job defensively. Deshaun Tate does it. Tate has not been in double figures since he had 10 against Memphis. Their team is Monte Morris, is yet to play due to the quad strain. They really could use him as that three rains down. Thompson got a piece of that. He might have got a piece of that. He may have, and there goes Hayes finishing over Green. So, their seventh turnover. They don't force a whole lot of turnovers, but they do tend to turn it over quite a bit. And Jabari Smith Jr. hit one. But he, I mean, he almost just really surprised Burke because he sprinted. There was no hesitation. Burke probably thought he had a dunk. Leaning three. Good. Van Leet is second. He's the second rocket now in double figures. Stellar possessions, man. A five point swing there. Ivy to Burks on the skip. He ain't shot. <laughs> well, Tari Easton doing a great job on Cunningham, contesting his layups late. This thing about Tari, he can get beat and still hang in plays. And goes down, sweeping through the lane there for Van Vliet. Knox, who's in the starting lineup for Isaiah Stewart, is dealing with a toe injury and out. Wow, way up high went Duran for that one. I guess considering they struggled here a little bit lately, is Shindun. Knocks it down off the mishandle there by Green. Final seconds of the half. Cunningham over Tate. It was a pass. It was a shot, but it served as a pass. And that'll do it. Thompson matching up with one another for the very first time. Asar has played seven and a half minutes to get to attempt the shot and is scoreless. Mike Thompson for the Rockets, six points. It is a team game. Duran is Shingun Gamble. Shingun able to recover, prevent him getting to the rim, but Duran still able to whirl it. And that's the reason why you don't need to overreact to Detroit. Allow them to make their own mistakes. 
And if we, that'll count plus the foul as Shingun has lived at the line here to begin this second half. Right back to him, takes him the foul line, draws a crowd, steps back, high looping shot, another make for Alfred Shingun. 0 oh, for 5 now from 3, that was not close. Rockets have matched their biggest lead. Look at that low, give it go on the other side, Jalen Green, Shingun the dime, doing everything. You saw how P didn't have it going on the block versus Duran, but and Fred said, don't worry, we'll make him have to move his feet. And then he had the quick foul trouble. Van Fleet, 4-3. That is just beautiful basketball. Great start to this first six minutes of this third quarter. Best of the night for the Rockets. Ivy. Right, he's three for three. He's off more times than it actually won't. Another Look at turnover. him. The Rockets walled off Cunningham. Sorry, Eason. To Green. There you go. The, the momentum. And again, Wiseman a lot slighter of frame. Oh, count it. He's hot. <laughs> Look at him. He, he's waving his hand. He's saying, I'm hot right now. <laughs> he, he's telling he's trying to get the twin a bucket. That's just good basketball. <laughs> That's good basketball, man. The Rockets are absolutely rolling because everything is going through Alfred Shingun. Right back to him. <laughs> Incredible. Unbelievable, unbelievable stuff here in this third quarter. A little rip and run here by Green. Now to Van Fleet. Back to him. D3 on the way. This was a four-point game at halftime. The Rockets now lead by 29. And Detroit hasn't made a shot in almost four minutes. Asar to Hayes, and there's their first one since about the 6.09 mark. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's the foul. The Wilson of Gerson doing work again. What a quarter for him. Asar Thompson on the other side. His first points of 121 a game, and their wins far less than that. So scoring and pace this game to their liking as Tate now is tied to see his best with 14. You saw in that graphic, we start to quarter the Rockets and that scored the business 25-3 off points off turnovers. That's an insane difference. And you can add, actually add three more to the Pistons as Bogdanovich fires it up and makes it. Tell the ankle probably still bothering him, but playing through it and using it the mental game. That would have been quite the finish. Another turnover. Rockets with numbers. Tari fumbled it, gets it back, scores again. Good pass. Thompson with a dunk. Here we go, twin night. Yeah, keep your head on a swivel. That reminds me of it's Charlotte, man. Christian Wood popping the lady at, at the uh, <laughs> Give the people what they want, Mr. Okay. Whitmore. Here you go, not shy. Comes up firing. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, here we go, some Slam Whitmore. Oh, slam Whitmore, I like that. Slam Whitmore? Yeah. Uh oh. Former Detroit Piston. Pulls yes. on Marjanovic, about to check in. Bullock to catch the shot to make. Here you go, and it's been a while, and his role in playing time is been reduced here as of late. Coming into this game, three straight DNP CDs. And he'll knock down. Guy's a winner. Help bring that program back. Oh. He just wants it more. <laughs> Give it back to him. Oh my yes, goodness! Yes, sir! Throwing it down on back! The Rockets ultimately built their lead to as much as 33 in this second half and rolled tonight to a 136-113 win, snapping their three-game losing streak.